What's up everyone, Tony Bonvecchio at the Strength House. I'm gonna to talk to you about why keeping your hips really close to the bar during sumo deadlift is important and a drill you can do to help dial that in. Now one of the main advantages of sumo deadlifting versus conventional deadlifting is that you get to keep your hips really close to the bar via a wider stance. So in a good sumo deadlift setup, the crease of my hip is very, very close to the bar compared to a conventional deadlift where I have to hinge back a bit more and the crease of my hip is further away from the bar. So it's just a more mechanically advantageous to keep my hips nice and close to the bar. However, what I see a lot of people do during their sumo deadlifts is give up that advantage by sitting back way too much and starting with their hips hinged way behind the bar. Now, it may be okay to deadlift like that just in training or if you're not concerned about powerlifting and moving the most weight possible. However, if moving a ton of weight is your MO, then you're gonna wanna keep those hips really close to the bar by spreading the knees out and leaving your hips very high at the start of your sumo deadlift so that bar path is shorter and you're better able to use those hips and those quads together to move the bar. Now to avoid that hinging back into a sumo deadlift, what I like to do is I like to take a band and put it around a lifter's waist. Here I've got the band just attached to one of our band pegs, but you can loop it around a power rack or just some other removable object, just something to anchor the band down. Now I'm gonna stand with the band around my waist and I'm gonna move the bar far enough away from me so that as I approach the bar, I start to get some tension in the band. It's pulling me backwards, so I have to resist against that. So now, when I'm in my starting stance, I have some good tension in the band here, and if I don't aggressively keep my hips forward, that band's actually gonna pull me back into a hip hinge position. I want to avoid that. So now, as I'm getting into my starting position, I'm working on keeping my hips forward, keeping my hips as close to the bar as I can, pushing my knees out, to get to the bar and then in that last position just avoiding the hips back so it's pretty difficult if you get enough band tension but you'll really feel it through your hips and through your adductors if you work on keeping close to the bar here and that'll improve a much more advantageous sumo deadlift pattern than if you let that band pull you into that hip hinge where there's a ton of backwards and forwards movement that moves your hips further away from the bar so if you're struggling with your sumo deadlift setup and keeping your hips close to the bar, try using a band to keep you in the right position so you can feel what it's like when you do it correctly.